Now we're back to Inkscape 1.5 updates. This update I think is a very important one. I've got an image here, you can see it below, and I create a couple of shapes. Let me create a star as well, maybe five corners. That should be enough to show you the new feature because we can now select that all and then use the shape builder tool. And now we can actually use it to create quick clipping effects on our images or using our images. Shape builder tool, I've got the add function active and now I left click on these three shapes on top of the image. And if I confirm and I finish, you can see this now clipped to all three elements. These are all clones of our original image and we can actually release them. So if you right click on it, release clip, you get the image back or to be specific, you get a clone of the image back. Let me press Ctrl Z until I've arrived here. I get rid of the shapes and I put this one in center because you can use the same method to delete stuff from an image. You know what, let me delete that. You can use any shape then. Let's say you want to get rid of the top of this building. Select it all, use the shape builder tool. Now use the second mode for delete. Left click on your shape and then confirm via accept right here. And this creates a cutout. It's not really a cutout. Once again, it's a clip, but this is how that works. This also works for text and you don't even have to convert the text into path or something. Just use the text elements Make that a little bit bigger, put it in center. Select it all. And you can see down here, it's just a text element. I select both, use the shape builder tool, I switch to add. And now I click on the letters, confirm via accept. And now we've got our image and text effect. One thing that I want to mention is when you release this, and you now want to work with the image. This might give you a couple of problems because it's just a clone of the image. So if I want to create this effect yet again, using this clone, it's not going to work. So I try to clip this to a rectangle. And we only get this black rectangle. So if you want to apply new effects, always make sure to use the original image and not a clone. And this is how you can use this new image clipping function in Inkscape 1.4. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.